slide board hamstring curl. Uh, we don't have slide boards, so we're going to use the, <clears throat> the plastic floor sliders here to create the same motion. The key here is your glute, trunk, low back positioning, and then what you're, in, what you're doing at your ankle. So many people, when they're doing hamstring exercises, while they're going through the motion, they pull their toes up. And what that does is it tensions one of your calf muscles to kind of help contribute to that knee bending or knee flexion mo moment. So what we're after here is that you, you be mindful about actually keeping your toe pointed down and you'll immediately feel more hamstring recruitment as long as you're keeping your, your low back and hips in a neutral position. Because that's the other common compensation is people will often arch their low back and that allows them to bias their proximal hamstring a little bit more. And it's essentially a way for you to cheat. So what it looks like is you're gonna go to your back, get the fourth slider set up, and when you bridge up, a lot of people will do this to where their hips are down low and they're really arched in their low back. You want you to get your hips high, really squeeze your butt, point your toes, and then you're keeping this in neutral as you come down and back up. Now a lot of people are gonna have a hard time coming back up due to how weak most people's hamstrings are, especially in this position to where we're keeping your toes pointed and biasing your hamstring. So you can do an eccentric focused version where you get your feet close, bridge up, turn your butt on, keep your toes pointed, and then you straighten your legs out, your butt hits the ground, pull your feet back up, bridge up, lower down again. Do your best to keep your head on the ground, and again, you're really trying to keep your hips tucked under you so you're not arching through your low back, toes pointed to bias the hamstrings. 